from Colorado Custom Coachworks. I'm here with uh, Steampunk Steve. If you haven't seen him before, check out the uh, Schoolie Palooza. Yeah. Just check out my channel. <laughs> Please He's, watch, watch. Please watch. He he knows a lot more than I do about building, and he was nice enough. Uh, if you didn't catch the previous video, he was nice enough to uh, come down. So thank you again. Not a problem. Uh, I, I just realized I, I like building with people more than I like building by myself. Plus, I like having people with more knowledge around me. Today's video, I'm just gonna be uh, sanding the whole bus. So, it, that's it. But we just had uh, a couple dudes roll up with a new 5'9 Cummins. Here's our resident homeless guy, Nick. Uh, just kidding, by the way. But, uh, check this thing out. They just drove this thing back from uh, Idaho Falls, and uh, yeah. So if you guys need a bus, these guys make custom buses. Uh, it's also a DIY space, that's why I'm here, if that wasn't clear, um, or if you're just tuning in. Uh, you can bring in your bus, they have tons of, uh, oh there's my old uh, Virgin Mobile backpack. Uh, they have tons of uh, tools and knowledge and all that stuff, so they have different tiers for van is a certain price, mid-size bus full-size bus um, you know I don't know it's a cool place so check that out uh, otherwise let's get jumping into the uh, to the sanding all right boys and girls uh, oh there I know there's a spec there uh, okay so this is uh, this is what we've done so far after a couple hours we got the sides not every single part of the side like we still need to do the crevice here the middle point there bottom part uh, for all three of them and uh, of course the bumper as well Steve got some of the back stuff. We're gonna have to get this goo off with goo gone. Uh, got the license plate off. We're gonna have to take all these lights off. This is gonna be a, uh, a multi-day video, I believe. Um, because I wanna show you guys how we kinda like get in the creases and crevices and how to properly prep what to put on here. So we're just, uh, we're gonna keep this part pretty quick and we'll check in with you in a little bit. untreated. Alright, let me update you on a couple things. Number one, mom and stepdad Bill are coming here today about, uh, I don't know, one or two o'clock, so we're going to have a short work day. Steampunk Steve is still here. He's hanging out for quite a while. I think a couple more weeks, so super excited to have him here. So thanks, Steve, uh, again. Uh, yesterday, we had uh, the Mojo bus come by, uh, Justin and Renee. And uh, I guess Justin used to work in cabinets, so he's offered to help. Uh, haven't heard back from uh, Navigation Nowhere. He's probably had sick of me. Probably had enough uh, enough time and delays and everything. He's out working on a uh, uh, a contract job, I guess we could call it, up in the mountains. Doesn't really have service, but I'm trying to get his plans for his uh, bench seats. So hopefully we can get that in a few days. Today is a Saturday. Spray foam go goes in on a Wednesday, so we got several days to kill some time. So uh, we're gonna do it kind of like a, a cooking show where you show you like, all right, we're gonna do this and here's the next step. <laughs> you put all the ingredients together. Oh wow, just pull it out of the oven. Uh, it's a little bit easier to do it like that. So uh, we're just gonna finish up the, uh, the deck. Uh, so we'll check back in in a little bit. I have two pieces in, not these two. The outsides, this side, and the other side over there and uh, it's looking pretty good the only problem is some of these pieces I bought were not the straightest also these 4x4s are bigger than these 4x4s I don't know why um, and uh, yeah so besides that I'm pretty happy with it there is a special feature to this deck that has never been done before but it is going to be a redwood deck um, we'll talk about 
well, we'll get to the, you know, special feature a bit later on in the, in the, in life, but, uh, yeah, I didn't anticipate how expensive this was going to be, um, but, uh, yeah, when we were searching, kind of feeling rushed, looking for cedar, they didn't have smooth, <clears throat> they only had rough cut cedar, we saw the redwood, we decided to go with the redwood. So would I do it again? I don't know. This really is a bit more than I wanted to spend, but uh, it, it will be very beautiful. All right, a couple days later. Well, mom was in town, so I had to visit. I think we're gonna maybe play with something here today. Uh, we have, I don't know if you, I don't think you met the guys, but Justin and Renee helped out with this one. I may have mentioned that earlier. That covers the air door. Steve is going to take a 2x4 from there to there. We're going to cover that with plywood after it's spray foamed. I'd like to move the fan slightly that way. Um, what else? Oh, today I was able, I scored about possibly over 100 gallons of oil. I'm going to go outside and filter. Steve is going to uh, box out the wheel well with uh, 2x8s. It's a perfect height. It's right under this little lip right there. This is the mother load. Uh, I think I counted 30, is that right? Let me do a quick count. 25. 25 times, let's say an average of four gallons, because not all these things are full. So I got right here, 100 gallons, and I got another 20 inside. So I'm gonna be filtering like a madman. It's not all that exciting. You can use your imagination. I'm just going to pour it into a five-gallon bucket with a strainer. Oh. 